Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and today I'm gonna to show you with Doc how the Standing Stone Easy Lead can make your walks easier. All right, so first and foremost, the Easy Lead is a product that we make and sell at StandingStoneSupply.com. This is a poly-coated nylon rope, and it is designed not only to be durable, but it's comfortable in your hands. Next thing with this is it is a springy type material. You can see how that bounces back and forth just a little bit as we play with it. Um, and we finished everything out with stainless steel hardware. This makes it a lifetime product, which is why it's backed with a lifetime warranty. Now, how does this help your dog to heal or walk better by your side? I'm gonna show you here. This is actually a progressive training system. All right, so first and foremost, this is a four and a half foot long leash, and we're going to show how we can clip it to our dog's flat collar, and then we will make one loop underneath their neck and run the handle portion back through the ring on the clip. This gives us a, what would be considered more of a standard slip style leash, okay? That's pretty straightforward. Now, the cool part about this slip style leash is it actually clips to the dog's flat collar. We make a flat collar with an O-ring, but any O-ring collar will work great for you. And then the last piece of this is we can open this leash portion up here, make a figure eight underneath the dog's neck, and then that goes up over their muzzle, okay? This is considered a makeshift style halter or a head halter. Other products out there you've probably seen, Gentle Leaders, um, are also great. They work similarly to this. The cool part about this is it's all in one piece and it's the leash that you're going to, it's the only leash you're going to need for a lifetime. Now, as we work through this, this would be where we start with a dog. We're going to get them used to this by standing still, okay? And I know you think we put this on and we instantly need to go for a walk. No, we need to help our dogs to get used to the head halter style position. We're going to apply just a little bit of pressure. Your dog may react differently. He's obviously had this before, so he has very little reaction at all. We want to do just a couple light tugs, and one of the really cool parts about this leash itself is that it only requires very, very, very minimal pressure. You have two contact points that's over their muzzle and behind their ears at the same time, and that makes it so that it's easier on you. Most other style collars, when you have to make any form of correction, even if that's just working with a standard leash, using some of the different techniques that people have out there, folks, all of them work. We're about efficiency and easy on you and the dog itself. So some people just recommend applying pressure, keeping it low on the dog's flat collar, okay? That works, but it does, it does require a fair amount of force, depending on how big your puller is, that's applied to both you and the dog. When we utilize this head halter style leash, it eliminates a huge portion of that pressure. So what we're going to go ahead and do is demo what this looks like. Again, I did that very, very quickly, but that's our figure eight style leash. We can make um, adjustments as we walk, light tugs. That's all the more you really need for corrections just to pull focus, okay? As we turn around, we can give small cues to our dog. Doc here is doing a really nice job. A light tug this way as I change direction. And think about when you start walking with your dog that the more changes of direction that you're making, the more he has to focus on the training session itself. This is important. You also want to be able to essentially walk before you run Okay, so we need to be doing this good in the yard before you take your show on the road to walk down the sidewalk where there are an increasingly level, uh, an increasingly large number, excuse me, of distractions that we can't predict, okay? So now that we've done a really nice job here with this portion, I'm gonna show you this, this is cool. This slips off of his muzzle and now we're back to just a standard slip leash. That's under here, this would be stage two or step two, okay? It's a progression, right? Now we have a standard slip leash that we can um, utilize to make small corrections. Again, because we've already developed a really good behavior of him walking by our side with a loose leash. 
keys to remember in this process, folks, are that pressure means to stop or pressure means to pay attention. So when he's walking in the appropriate position, you need to have no pressure. One of the biggest mistakes that we see people make is that they apply constant pressure. Now dogs have something that is called opposition reflex. That's something out of their control. They try and resist against pressure. So if you have a constant tug on your dog and you can never end that, they're only going to continue to try and pull more. So here, we're going to make a, just a gentle tug here. He's got birds over here on the mind, focusing on that. Again, light tugs. This is just communication between him and I through the leash. Hey, heel, good boy. As your dog gets better, you can start to incorporate the cue. Heel would be what we are asking. And what that specifically means is right here, we wanna try and aim for the shoulder of the dog to be somewhere close to even with our leg. If they're out ahead of us, this is where we would often change directions. That changes the momentum of where they're thinking we're going. Hey, that's sniffing. That's not healing either. So I, hey, light tugs on the leash. Communication between the verbal and the leash itself. We have contact. We have the ability to talk to him, to improve his ability to walk with us and focus on the task at hand. Now, one thing that I would say I see people expecting or trying to work through is just, I want my dog to go on a loose leash walk with me, but not actually be in this position. I feel personally like that is a more advanced thought. So though it is 100% possible, absolutely you could do a loose leash walk where your dog gets to explore a little bit but has respect of the distance, I feel like this is a better place to start because it's going to develop a consistent expectation of you know exactly where you're supposed to be, but have a fair expectation of your dog. We do a short session like this, then he needs the opportunity to use his nose and that can be the reward. A short five or 10 minute walk, get to sniff around at the end. That is the reward for doing a good job walking at heel, which is by our side. The last portion of this, folks, we can run this all the way back out, and now we're back to our four and a half foot long leash. We offer this leash both in four and a half foot and six foot, again, backed by a lifetime warranty. Alrighty, folks, that's the Standing Stone Easy Lead. I'm the guy with the pink gun, and we will see you in the next video.